Hello, friends. It's Simone. Guess what? I don't have a new pen, but I do have a pen that I swapped with my friend Sarah. And that pen is the misleading in this pen case from Franklin Christoph Pilot Custom 823. Ta da! This is the amber model. Oh, wow. There was something at the window just now that my cat needed to go get. Um, and it actually has, I think I just said it, a medium size nib. I have been thinking about purchasing this pen for almost a year now, but I haven't because when I tested it at the San Francisco Pen Show in August of 2022, it did not wow me the way I had expected this pen to wow me. And so I did not buy it. But then I was in love. I am still very much in love with this Pilot Custom 74. Um, but I also throughout the past year started to like prefer fountain pens that have a number six size nib. And now I'm looking around and can't find anything here, um, right here. So I really enjoy pens that have these bigger nibs, which the Custom 74 has not. However, the Custom 823 does. So the Custom 74 has a nib that is more reminiscent of a Twisby nib. I'm pulling out all the things here now, like this. Um, and the, uh, let me just open up the Custom 823 and show you the bigger nib size. So that is why this pen has moved from, well, you know, maybe it isn't for me to but you know, you really like pens with these big nibs right now. So maybe the writing experience would be so much more elevated. Who knows? So when she offered to lend this pen to me for a month, I said, yes, sure. Um, and so I can try this pen and see if it was just the testing pen or maybe it wasn't dipped properly into the ink it wasn't inked up and so maybe the writing experience was skewed um so that is what i am going to do today i want to ink this up i want to compare the size quickly to some pens um, this is what the pen looks like this is of course the comparison model that I am going to compare it. I will actually ink up both of those pens with the same ink. Not in this video because I need to clean this pen first, but I want to really see how different the experience is with the same ink. Um, I am going to pull out as I a Twisby. Maybe I have a Pilot a Platinum. Mm -mm. Do people have Euphorias? Let me check what else I do have. I want to see the... I think that's a good variety. What about a... This one. Okay, I think that's a good variety of pens that I can compare it to. So this one is a Twisby Eco. It is a tiny bit shorter. The Twisby Eco is also... Is almost is exactly the same length as the custom 74. This is the Twisby VAC 700R Iris. So from the size length, this would compare. Um, I think it's a this is a little bit shorter. Then let's put the Euphoria back here. Same size. The Platinum 3776 is actually shorter than the Custom 74. And then, of course, the Kaweco Sport. Uh, this is an AL Sport. Super short. And then the Lamy Safari is also shorter than the Custom 74. So, doesn't compare in size. I will 
um, unscrew these caps now. I'm not sure if I would personally post the custom 823. If you have one, let me know in the comments down below. So this is the only one that I always post because I my hands are too big for this. So this starts getting bigger. I post this one as well. I'm going to, um, for my own personal um, way of writing with these pens, I'm going to put this to the side so it doesn't roll away. I am not posting the Euphoria. As you can see, the Pi uh, Platinum 3776 already comes with a bigger size nib. It's not as big as the... Uh, euphoria nib but it definitely is bigger than a platinum nib what a pilot nib here is the um, kawiko sport i don't personally post this pen again i don't it would work well it doesn't uh, this one has an o-ring height right here so this posts really securely well not like this okay but like like so see can you hear it so you could post this i personally don't either i'm just gonna put it down like so and i'm not posting this I am posting and not posting this pen. It works for me both ways. And then if I'm holding this in my hand, I could, let's see what it feels like. Is Does it work? Yeah. Well, I, what I really don't like about uh, caps with clips when, they, when I post them is that the ball or the heaviness of the clip always pulls it towards the side. Can you see this? So it always like twists over here. So if I was going to post this, I would post this so that this is already on the side so that it doesn't, woo, cat, um, so that it doesn't pull the, the pen over this way. But I think if I was going to use this, I would not post this pen. I think it's totally fine like so. So let's see. Of course, all of the posted pens are super long now. It is a standard length. If I put it at the same starting point with the nib, this is where the paper is, then the posted Custom 74 is of course longer. It is longer than the posted Kaweco AL Sport. It is about the same length, just a smidgen shorter than the unposted um, Twisby Eco. And it is shorter than the um, Twisby VAC 700R. Let's remove the caps from these posted pens. Of course, interestingly enough, the Pilot, uh, the Platinum 3776 is the shortest of them all. Uh, yep, this is what it looks like. So I am curious, especially about the comparison of the Custom 74 and the Pilot 8, Custom 823. Oh my, I will be scrambling up those words so much this month. So much Custom 74, 823, 123, 356, VAC 700R. I'm not going to, to ink that up this month, so... It, no, I don't have any stressors here. Um, so I weighed both of them. The Custom 74 weighs like this. There is an empty converter in here. This pen is empty as well. I just put it in there. I didn't, I pulled out the old converter. There's still color here. Um, there is some ink in the feed. Empty converter because I will need that to ink it up. Uh, empty pen. The Custom 74 weighs with the cap. It doesn't matter if it's posted or capped, same weight. 
It weighs 18 grams. The custom 823 weighs 29 grams. So that's 11 grams more than this one. And it is definitely noticeable in the weight of the pen. Uncapped, this pen weighs 19 grams, which is the same, basically the same weight as this pen if you post it. And uncapped, the Custom 74 weighs 10 grams. So if weight is an issue, this unposted is definitely the choice for you. I want to see how much bigger the section is. So I brought out this. Let's just close this. Okay, so I'm zero. This is 11. 0.03 millimeters and this one is 10 22 so it is one millimeter smaller and i feel like it tapers down more you can clearly see that the section is smaller it's the same length for sure but of course, the uh, nib is longer. So let me just write this down because I am really curious. So section is 11.03, I think. And this one was 10.22. Um, length. Um, length do I have a ruler yes the, so the custom 74 I I just had to stop and I measured this one as well it's exactly the same length uncapped as the custom 74 interestingly enough 12.5 uh, centimeters and the custom 823 is 13.3 I'd say oh yeah that's what I wrote down and I think that's pretty close I will compare it to measurements on some of the sites that sell this pen but I think this is what I can go with so definitely heavier I mean it has a vacuum filling system instead of a uh, cartridge converter system so you have the all of that stuff inside so definitely it's heavier and Sarah I will have cat hair on this my cats are shedding as bad as so I'm going to keep it in here but it's gonna be there will be some cat hair so your dog will have something to sniff out when it gets home uh, I want to ink this pen with Robert Oster Tea Time it is an endless pens exclusive it was made in collaboration with Micah Fines. Um, I have rinsed this pen because she said that I should do that one more time and I still have a little bit of ink left so let's try and see if it works out for me. I think I should get an ink miser so I can pour this into a better um, ink container because I will have to pull this all the way down. I actually don't really want that big of a fill because I I want to I I am receiving one more custom 823 and I will be comparing those two nibs and I want to ink all of the pens with the same color so I need enough ink in my ink bottle and you know, I'm not putting any pressure on this. I'm going to ink this as well. So I'm just going to lift it up a tiny bit. Then That didn't sound too good because actually I have to put it a bit at an angle so that the whole thing is, is covered. That's what happens when you give out too many samples to friends, man. There we go. Wow. I got quite a good filling. I'm not sure I want to keep that much ink in the pen. So maybe if I take it out and release some of it. Yep, this looks good. 
and then I'm closing it. I need my rag. I'm super sorry about the lighting situation. Once I move, I really plan on getting a desk light, one of those um, canvas lights, I think they're called. But yeah, so I'm going to close this. I'm not going to ink up this pen because I actually have to clean it first. But here's my book. And so let's see, I'm going to open up this valve. You don't necessarily have to. It's nice. It's hefty. Pilot, custom, eight, two, three. It's a medium nib. I have no idea what this writing experience is so different from the writing experience that I had at the San Francisco Pen Show. So maybe it was a dipping problem because if I had the same experience, then I would have purchased that pen right away. And the color is Amber. Abner. Ab Aber. So let's try that one more time. Amber. I have to say that I, the amber that I have seen uh, at the Baltic Sea is a lot more yellow than this. This is actually quite disappointing for a amber color. But um, yeah, it's nice to know that this is what the color actually looks like. How do I usually do this? Find it, Lena's hair, amber. Okay, let's see. Side strokes is really good. I have noticed that with all of my uh, pilot nibs, when I put up strokes, are always thinner. Yep, flows really nicely and well. And then let's do this, let's do this wet. What else? Let's see here. It holds, it, it really doesn't have an issue with holding up with fast writing the quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. Wow. And if I was going to sign this with my signature, which obviously is not this, would still work really well. This pen is a loner from Sarah at Ginger Peachy, and of course it doesn't fit here, Stationery. I will link her channel down below. I really enjoy her content. You should check her out. <laughs> I see some people do these amazing flourishes. I would probably have to practice those because actually doesn't look like I can <laughs> do those at all. Well, that's a flourish. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. I really like this pen. I'm really curious to see if the pen that is being sent to me, it will arrive tomorrow, has the same flow with this ink or what if the nib is the same size. I will film a comparison video maybe towards the end of the month. We will see how much time I have. Thank you so much for watching. Um, did you see anything red in this video? Nope. How sad. If you look closely at your app, there is a red button that says subscribe at the bottom, right next to my name. If you click that, then you will get more of these amazing videos in the future. And uh, you will never miss 
any of these really amazing hints at subscribing ever again. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Until then, bye!